I'm the Dollar Sportsman. I'm back in my garage setup real quick for a little bit more training tips. First things first though, you can get one of these super cool sweatshirts, t-shirts, whatever you want it in, even in a hoodie. It's Airy Christmas. Guys, if you order right now from the dollarsportstore.com, use code CHRISTMAS for 15% off. That's how I set it up, so don't forget the discount. These things are awesome. We've got the air guns, we've got the tanks, the pellets, the targets. It's amazing. My wife designed it, so it's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just out here uh, practicing my draw a little bit more with my We The People holster here and my SIG P365. I carry a P365XL. So the air gun version is a P365. And I was just watching a really good episode on Warrior Poet Society about grip. Okay, so they're talking about grip. Now, I am left-handed, so let me back up so you can get the light on this. I grip my gun with obviously my left hand, and I use a very, um, as they put it, active grip on the, uh, on the slide here. So you can see that my front thumb goes way forward, about right there, that's how I grip my guns, and that's just how I operate, right? So, um, there are two, ways that they talk about that people can grip, whether one is just kind of regular, where it's not locked out up here, it's just kind of there, right? And a lot of professional shooters shoot like that. Whereas with the uh, active control, it's very much more forward. And the question that I've gotten before is, well, what happens to your thumb when it's up on the slide like that? <sighs> nothing. The answer is nothing. Um, when you put your thumb on a slide, whether it is a air gun replica like this or a real firearm, you don't even feel the slide on your feet. You really don't notice it, but it really does help with the recoil. It helps you to manage the recoil really well. As long as your grip is good, you got a full grip all around the firearm. You can hear me just smacking this box at 10 yards here every single time because the grip is excellent. And as long as your side alignment is good and all of your other mechanics are good, then you're gonna be just fine. So, the moral of the story is your thumb is just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, there's no slide thumb, okay? There's a grand thumb, there's no slide thumb. Just goes, just goes, and that works really well. So, there's your tip of the day. If you wanna do a standard grip where you have your thumbs just kind of together, like this, this is what most people start off. Right? They, they've got the clamshell really good and their thumb is just kind of there and they, they hold their gut like this. That's fine and dandy. I don't really like that one myself. I like the more active grip to manage with the recoil. It just feels better for me personally. So, here's your tactical tip, guys, for the day. Again, um, I am recovering from surgery. I had surgery on my neck and I haven't been able to get out and shoot any rifles because of it. So, I'm here in my garage. Having fun with my air guns. This is the SIG 365. I'm out of ammo right there. We the People holster. It allows me to really go and go fast. So I like it a lot. Uh, the holster's great. Boom, you can also get 15% off the holster We're using the code TMONEYS on we the people holsters.com. That's how you can use some, you can save some money, and just have a good time. So, I'm the Dollar Sportsman, there's your tips for the day, do not worry about your thumb on the slide, it's gonna be just fine. Now, I, um, I am a basic pistol instructor, so I have some credentials, but the reality is just the experience of being out and being able to learn how to do this. The more experience you get from really good trainers, and I'm not saying that I'm a good trainer either. I, I'm talking about going to Warrior Code Society, those guys, um, experienced law enforcement trainers. They're gonna give you a lot of good tips, and I highly recommend you check them out. Um, I give you what I learn, just on the regular, because, well, I wanna share with the world. That's why I do what I do. So thanks, guys. Uh, if you ever wanna actually do a full, like, basic pistol course or something, then we can talk about that. But let me know in the comments below if you wanted to see something like that on the channel because we could definitely cover it. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope you have a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I am now on the American Air Gunner YouTube channel. 
My first video was released uh, with them just yesterday, and you can go check it out right now, How to Shoot Farther with an air gun using standard pellets. Air guns these days, they can shoot super far. It's super fun. I'm going to be there to give you just a couple of extra tips to help you to get further and have more fun, and then I'll also be doing some, uh, some other fun series videos coming out next year. So, I'm excited. I'm excited to be part of that. I hope you are too and that you'll go check it out. American Air Gunner, YouTube. Thanks guys, I'm the Dollar Sportsman.